हेलो एवरीवन आई गेस आई एम लाइव नाउ हेलो मितेश जी हाउ आर यू वाओ थैंक्स फॉर जॉइनिंग बस हम फाइव मिनट और वेट करते हैं लेट्स सी कि और भी हमारे व्यूअर्स कोई ज्वाइन करना चाहते हो तो एंड देन विल स्टार्ट बुक्स एंड रिव्यू हेलो हाय थैंक यू फॉर कमिंग it is so nice uh, you know to connect with uh, all of you here on instagram and but mera uh, online aane ka ek bahut khaas maqsad hai ki uh, something was making me very restless and so i wanted to share this with all of you uh, just uh, we'll meet wait for one or two minutes more and then we'll begin okay and before we start i want to tell every one of you that if you have any queries related to meditation or spiritual journey so please keep your queries and uh, uh, once i finish uh, what i want to tell you all and then we'll take all the queries and definitely uh, i love to answer uh, the spiritual queries and i also want to tell everyone that uh, i am here always on instagram i have two accounts uh, this one is my author anupama gupta account the another one is solely for the purpose of spiritual journey and for sharing spiritual knowledge and it is called soul retreats so it is very easy to find uh, so please come and connect with me on soul lit treats too and uh, if you have any query regarding uh, uh spiritual journeys regarding meditation so uh, you don't have to wait for my live sessions right you can message me then and there whenever the query query pops up and uh, up to my knowledge i will definitely uh, share with you whatever i know about that particular question right okay so let's begin now my uh, reason for taking up this live session uh, is that uh, uh, anyone who is a spiritual person nowadays uh, they must be coming in uh, touch with this these particular terms like uh, 5d consciousness ascension that this uh, whole earth consciousness is shifting and there are people uh, around the globe uh, on youtube who make videos on this and they keep telling you again and again Uh, they kind of uh, uh, tell you that if you don't meditate uh, you will be left behind if you don't meditate this uh, whole thing uh, you know this whole ascension thing will be done without you you will be left behind because you don't meditate and uh, there there is an air of superiority among the meditators and they see the non meditators as inferior right why i am saying so because i have seen the videos and uh, they say that it, 5d consciousness is happening uh, ascension is happening and those who don't meditate they will be left behind and something terrible will happen to them so please <laughs> this is what today's my topic is just stop all this okay now uh, hi jerry how are you <laughs> so my uh, uh, just to uh, you know rewind it again Uh, anyone who is a spiritual person has definitely come uh, into these uh, contact with these terms like 5d consciousness like ascension and uh, the earth is shifting into another dimension and those who don't meditate they will be left behind so this uh, they are kind of uh, um, spreading fear among the non meditators that uh, uh, you are not better or basically that you will be left behind so today i am here i just want to uh, clarify this uh, that any such thought is not true so if you are not med- if you are not able to meditate or if you are a non meditator so it uh, really does not affect your journey here in any way right uh, do not give in into fear do not panic because i understand that many people try to meditate and i myself i am a very big supporter of meditation you can see all my uh, post 
I always say that you have to meditate whether you have faith or no faith you have to just meditate right but what is this spreading a uh, you know what is the agenda of spreading a fear among the non meditators i really don't understand right meditation if you panic someone into meditation meditation will just move far away from that person for meditating you have to uh, be at a particular point in your life where meditation comes to you right you cannot force meditation on someone and spreading uh, words like this that uh, if you don't meditate uh, you will be left behind so please uh, don't listen to all such kind of things because i will tell you why because <coughs> because in bhagavad gita the lord has given four ways of liberation right there are four ways of mukti of moksha of liberation and all those four are called yoga and what is yog yog is your union with the lord okay so there are four ways the four are first is sankh yog second is karma yog third is gyan yog and the fourth is bhakti yog and i want to again say that when uh, arjun was standing in uh, in the battlefield the lord did not tell him to sit down and meditate the lord told him that you get up you uh, take the weapons in your hand and you just you know shoot at the enemy that is what lord said he he never said that you have to sit down and meditate to find me and the four ways i want to uh, i will definitely go for the four ways uh, i will explain them but i will explain them in very crisp so understand that i am not going into deep uh, in the bhagavad gita it is explained very beautifully in very deep manner but that is not the topic here so i will give you a very brief description of all the four so you will come to understand that what are the four different ways apart from meditation which are which make you eligible for moksha or for a good life or for a better human experience or for liberation right so the first one is sankh yog what is it sankh yog it means balance samatva not to the extremes but in the middle balance you are not very happy even when happiness comes you are not very sad even when sadness comes that is called sankh yog samatva yog the second one it is the uh, gyan yog gyan yog means anuman nahi anubhav understand you do, you cannot assume you have to sit and experience that particular thing that is gyan yog and for gyan yoga definitely you go to people you ask your spiritual queries you listen to spiritual uh, you know books and their commentaries and uh, for gyan yoga meditation is one of the best tools because by by that you experience by yourself you know by yourself so that is gyan yoga another is karma yoga what is karma yoga karma yoga is tera tujhko arpan means whatever comes in my life whatever i do i offer it to you the act of doing the act of uh, uh, receiving everything whatever comes i offer it to you and the fourth one is the most beautiful one that is the bhakti yog what it says it says that main tera i am yours and in this i am yours there is no i left only you are left so bhakti yog is so beautiful that whatever life i am living i am not living you are living oh my lord you are living through me so that is bhakti yog now again i am telling you these are the four ways by which you are capable or you are suitable for uh, attaining uh, uh, moksha or liberation and there are then there are people who are telling you if you, you don't meditate uh, you will be left behind no you don't have to listen to such people please please do not listen to such people always listen to those people who calm you down who tell you that you are good who don't bring restlessness in your life right why why i am telling you because every soul has its own journey and in that particular journey you are at a at a particular point and these are the four uh, attitudes of life which you have already chosen before coming into this life right so don't let anyone tell you that if you don't meditate or you are not able to meditate then you are not good enough please yeah every soul is working towards their own journey and uh, there will come time 
the time will come when you meditation will happen by itself you don't have to push yourself for meditating why i am saying so because meditation in itself uh, you know requires quietness of mind and quietness of mind requires a lot of practice if by any chance you are a, a working professional where do you get so much of time even if you get some time then understanding the experiences of meditation is not easy right so if you are not able to meditate and remember there are three other ways for your liberation okay so this is what was making me restless and i wanted to clear this out and for this only telling this only i have uh, come uh, live on this session uh, i hope i have made my point very clear the four uh, yogas i will definitely give you more insight into it in some other session currently i want to you know again and again tell you if you are meditating well and good very good for you meditation changes uh, your uh, you know outlook towards life and it is a very good tool to upgrade yourself but again it is a tool it is not the end it is just a means the meditation is a mean of attaining something it is not that particular something if you meditate you do not become god you have to uh, uh, you know understand that every soul is at a different level of their own own spiritual journey it is not nowhere it is written that it is mandatory meditation is mandatory for liberation it is nowhere written like this so if people are telling you that there is uh, some 5d consciousness happening earth is shifting and uh, you know mainly during the months of april and may this was uh, into very hype it was a hype among, among the spiritual believers that uh, uh, if you don't meditate you will be left behind i want to tell you that i have read about people who say even if you don't meditate you will not be left behind swami vivekanand said that everyone will reach every soul will reach his destination Ramanna Maharshi said that no one will be left behind. Pandit Sri Ram Sharma Acharya said that even after I leave my body, I will work for you and I may make sure that no one is left behind. So these are the people we have to listen to. They bring peace. They bring calmness. They tell us that whatever you are doing, just don't worry. Keep keep on keep going on, right? So. this is what i wanted to tell you in this particular session and uh, again i want to repeat here that uh, i have two uh, instagram accounts if you have any uh, spiritual query about your spiritual journey or meditation so you can definitely ask me you don't have to wait for uh, another live session uh, you can send me a message at uh, authoranupamagupta.com uh, authoranupamagupta or at soul retreats right so uh, thank you so much for having this much patience of listening to me now uh, if you have any questions uh, you can please ask now jerry uh, jera sharma is asking why do people create such hoaxes uh, uh, see every soul is again at a different level of consciousness now that can be true for them but it need not be true for everyone what happens that we are in a society where we generalize things you know medicines are generalized and lifestyles are generalized uh, whereas the earth and the human spiritual experience is definitely not designed as a generalized uh, you know system it is very very personalized system so whatever people are saying or talking about it may be the truth but it is for their life it is not the truth of your life so you have to understand that what is the truth of your life and you have to choose you know for a very personalized experience you have to personally choose that what you want to believe in and what you don't want to believe in everyone's journey is different and everyone is going to the same destination right and you know what we call as enlightenment or what we call as uh, you know um understanding something it it requires only a moment only a moment of time it does not require a lot of uh, 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 you know 
activity into it so that can happen any time so my answer is that there may it may be the truth of their life but please don't make it a truth of your life your life is in your hands your beliefs and uh, everyone whoever is doing whatever he is doing they are all doing great very great and i know this because after going through this such a hard phase of corona everyone who is here it is dealing with a lot of stress and he is dealing with a lot of responsibilities lot of stress and lot of you know traumas and still they are smiling and they are moving on so they are all doing great then they need to be told this that you are doing great not this that you are not able to meditate so i'm sorry there's no seat for you so don't believe such things okay so is there any other query thank you so much for joining so many people i see that they have joined thank you mohit ji pooja author aryatara dinesh ji thank you so much for joining so we'll end this session here again i'll i want want you to remember that there are four not one there are four ways to liberation and we are knowingly or unknowingly on that particular path we are walking that path okay thank you so much for joining bye bye